فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد In our last sit I spoke about um, the science uh, or the uh, instrumental knowledge that a student of knowledge needs to have in order to understand the objective knowledges. Uh, so we talked about the instrumental knowledges that we will inshallah ta'ala be studying in our online uh, madrasa al-umariya inshallah ta'ala. Now what are the objectives that we're going to learn? Inshallah ta'ala we will be studying bi ilal al kareem ilm tafsir Because we've taken al-muqaddamah fi usul al-tafsir by Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah Inshallah ta'ala we will do the tafsir of uh, Ibn Kathir rahimahullah Tafsir of Ibn Kathir rahimahullah will be taken But I haven't yet um, and us and the team haven't yet made our minds up how much we're going to study from the tafsir of Ibn Kathir uh, the portion that will be taken Inshallah ta'ala but the book I will be relying on or the tafsir that I will be relying on 90% is Tafsir Ibn Kathir rahimahullah. I may sometimes men mention what's in the Tafsir of Ibn Jarir al-Tabari, what's in the Tafsir of Imam al-Qurtubi, rahimahumullah rahmatan wasi'a, or Imam al-Baghawi as well. May Allah have mercy upon each and every one of them. The second thing, inshallah ta'ala, that we will be studying is Aqeedah. And inshallah ta'ala, the Aqeedah, we will be dividing it into two types, inshallah ta'ala. Aqeedah that is connected to Uluhiyah, and Aqeedah, which is Bishaklin Aam, the general comprehensive type of Aqeedah. Uh, I div I'll, I'll divide those into those two types, inshallah ta'ala. The Aqeedah that will be taken, inshallah ta'ala, is uh, Aqeedah al uh, and that would be the books of Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab, rahimahullah. So we'll be studying Qawa'id al Arba', Nawaqid al Islam, Usul al Thalatha, Kitab al Tawheed, and um, you know. Uh, those would be the main books that we will go through, inshallah ta'ala. So it would be Qawa'id al Arba, Nawaqid al Islam, Usul al Thalatha, Kitab al Tawheed. Uh, we will be relying on studying those books when it comes to uh, matters pertaining to uh, Tawheed al Uluhiyah. We'll then, inshallah ta'ala, move on to um, Al Aqeedah, which is comprehensive and general. Uh, and that book, inshallah ta'ala, will be the books of Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah. We'll be taking his Aqeedah al Wasatiya, we'll be taking his Aqeedah al Hamawiya, and we'll be taking his Aqeedah al Tadmuriya. All of those are written by him, Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah, Rahimahullah Rahmatan Wasi'a. And we'll stick to that and we'll study those, inshallah ta'ala. Inshallah ta'ala. Um, to finally conclude with Aqeedah, inshallah ta'ala, I'm still skeptical whether I should add it to the list. But Aqeedah written by Abu Bakr al-Ismaili rahimahullah uh, or Aqeedah al-Tahawiya, one of those two. Um, most likely, inshallah ta'ala, it will be Aqeedah al-Tahawiya uh, that would add to the list after the books of Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah rahmatan wasi'a. Then inshallah ta'ala, we will be studying uh, hadith. And we will go over the hadith of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the books that we'll be studying, inshallah ta'ala, is the 40 hadiths written by Imam al Nawawi, rahimahullah. We will be adding the additional eight hadiths added by Ibn Rajab al Hanbali. So we'd study the 42 written by Nawawi and the additional eight, so those 50 hadiths um, that are written by uh, al Imam Ibn Rajab al Hanbali. So those 50 hadiths, an explanation I'll be relying on is uh, Jami' al Ulum wal Hikam. So we'll be studying the 40 had 42 hadiths of Nawawi. And the additional eight read, add, added, to, by, added to it by Ibn Rajab, and we'll be taking the explanation he put on it, Rahimahullah Ta'ala. And then after that, Inshallah Ta'ala, we will then be taking, Inshallah Ta'ala, the book, uh, the Kitab Al Targhib wa Tarheeb by Imam Al Mundiri, Rahimahullah. And the reason why that book, Inshallah Ta'ala, is or Riyadh al Salihin, one of the two, Inshallah Ta'ala, will be taken either the Riyadh al Salihin or we will be taking. Um, the Kitab uh, Targhib wa Targhib by Imam Al Mundiri, Rahimahullah, Rahmatan Wasi'a. Um, 
We will then, inshallah ta'ala, move on to the fourth thing that we're going to be studying in the objective, in the ulum al-maqasid. Inshallah ta'ala, we're not going to be studying a particular madhab um, uh, because of the different diverse students who are going to be coming. Some who've studied Hanafi fiqh, some who studied Hanbali fiqh, and some who studied Shafi'i fiqh, and some who studied Maliki uh, fiqh. So to all force everybody on one madhab, it will slightly be hard. So inshallah ta'ala, we will just study one book which is not on any, not on any madhab, more like, uh, but it's written in a manner that is, or in a way where uh, a person who studied a book of madhab would realize that it's similar in how it's written. Uh, it's the book written by an Imam al shawkani rahimahullah. Uh, his kitab, Durar al Bahiyya fi Masail al Fiqhiyya. We will be doing that book, inshallah ta'ala, and study that book uh, الله, with his own explanation that he put uh, on it, inshallah ta'ala. So, brothers and sisters who are listening, after the student of knowledge has grounded himself on ulum al Wasail, and then he's taken the ulum al Maqasid, and he's understood them, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, he definitely will come out with the knowledge that he is looking for. He will obtain and gain the, the status of being a scholar and a person of knowledge. I finally wanted to conclude with inshallah ta'ala, which is advice that I wanted to give to all of you inshallah ta'ala. It's a wasiyah, an advice uh, to all of you who are seeking knowledge inshallah ta'ala. Uh, I wanted to say to all of you, bi-idhnillah al-kareem, alayka bil-ikhlas. Brothers and sisters, always come with sincerity wa husnul maqsad have good intention and good uh, thought and good uh, heart towards seeking knowledge, sincerity, ikhlas. And to always know that the person will gain knowledge uh, according to your intention. And if your intention is low uh, and your sincerity is not there, then you won't gain as much as you could learn. So, فَلَنْ تَنَالَ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ إِلَّا عَلَىٰ قَدْرِ نِيَتِكِ Oh brother and oh sister, you won't learn knowledge and you won't gain it ha, if your intention is evil. But if you have good intention and you surrender to Allah wa ta'ala, then you'll honestly learn a lot. The next thing I want, the next point that I wanted to advise you all is Al-Amalu Tabaratul Ilm. Not implementing knowledge is uh, knowledge, the fruit of knowledge and the crops of knowledge is that you implement what you learn. If you want to keep knowledge and you want to keep it with you all the time, then you should be one who what? Who implements it. Who always comes with it, uh, the implementation of what you learned. Don't just make your knowledge uh, just words or notes uh, that you write. Rather make it a, uh, something that shows on your actions and things that you do. Also, the third point that I wanted to say inshallah ta'ala is to be patient in the journey of seeking knowledge and to have high aspirations. You're never, knowledge isn't something very short and easy. It's a long road, it requires a lot of patience and it also requires a lot of uh, high aspiration from you that you're consistent, you believe in yourself and you set yourself a target and, and you look up to that goal that you set yourself. Um, and I also, inshallah ta'ala, remind you all to stay away from arrogance, stay away from the, stay, stay, to stay away from con being conceit and also to stay away from being courageous to give fatwa and verdict without knowledge and also to stay away from jealousy. The jealousy that isn't praiseworthy. I ask Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, أَسْأَلُ اللَّهَ أَنْ يَنْفَعَنِي وَإِيَّاكُمْ وَيَرْزُقَنَا لَذَّةَ الْعِلْمِ وَحَلَوَةِ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْرِفْعَةَ بِهِ فِي الْآخِرَةِ إِنَّهُ سَمِعٌ قَرِيبٌ وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ وَسَلَّمَ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَا مُحَمَّدْ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ أَجْمَعِينَ وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا أَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ